My name is Santiago Torres Arias, and I'm an assistant professor of electrical and computer engineering at Purdue University. Uh, this is part of a, an emerging trend uh, that stems from the complexity of software and the way that it's widely deployed for pretty much any application. Uh, software doesn't follow the same quality standards as other critical services and products, such as, say, food or medicine. Uh, as we see these compromises surface, we're starting to identify software quality as a crucial point in the general supply chain. There has been push from the US government and the Department of Defense to pressure software producers to be more transparent and clear about what exactly is inside of their products and what are they using to compose their products. A lot of these incidents stem from uh, operators of software and services uh, not knowing exactly what's on their infrastructure and not being able to react appropriately when a compromise of this nature takes place. The idea here is that any operator knows exactly what is in their infrastructure and they can also be notified immediately when something like this takes place. Uh, a lot of these compromises last very long because this uh, intelligence exchange is not entirely optimized. I think it's near impossible to make hack-proof software, but uh, that realization should also uh, guide us to make better processes and tools to minimize the impact of when software is hacked. This need for transparency should also be uh, carried through with a, a need for better operational knowledge, better processes, better information sharing, so that when we do get hacked, the impact of a compromise is smaller just by the time window that it was uh, acted upon.